Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this particular video, I will be sharing uh, that what uh, coding skill you need to do well in machine learning and AI. So last week I made a video uh, regarding the roadmap of AI machine learning and there I shared that what are the resources that you need to follow uh, to understand everything about machine learning and AI and there I share what are the prerequisite that you need to do first that is linear algebra and probability and what are the resources you should follow for these two subjects and then how you should move gradually to machine learning and finally deep learning. So the whole whole plan I have given in that video. So if you haven't watched that video yet, uh, you can go and check it out. So the link will be given in the description or it may come in the i button now in that video i missed one thing so i forgot to you know discuss about the coding skill needed to do well in machine learning and ai and many of you have pointed out in the comment section of that video that what are the coding skill that will be needed uh, to do well in machine learning and ai because uh, if you if you want to be a data scientist if you want to work in machine learning and ai then you need to do a decent amount of coding and few of you have asked me that what are the system configuration that will be needed to do coding for machine learning and ai and if you have asked me that you are planning to buy a laptop then what configuration laptop that you should buy so that you know you can uh, run the codes in your in your local system and also there are some other other uh, resources that is available to run um, you know big big models and big codes so you have asked me regarding that and i completely forgot to mention that one so that's why i'm making this video so in this video i'll be first share that you know what are the coding skill that will be needed to do well in machine learning in ai and then i'll be discussing about other resources that you should uh, follow and what kind of uh, laptop configuration that will be needed to you know do uh, machine learning coding in your in your in your laptop so that i'm going to discuss in this particular video so please do watch the video till end and before starting the video as i always say if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notification regularly without further ado let's get started into today's video now first coming to the fact that what coding language you need to understand to do well in uh, machine learning and AI coding so the answer is Python so you have to understand Python very well to do coding for machine learning and AI and for Python I mean my personal view is that it is the easiest um, uh, coding uh, coding language that you, you might know so it is very easy compared to the other coding languages like C, C++, Java or any other that you know uh, because its syntax is very easy and I personally feel that if you are if you if you are comfortable doing coding in C, C++ or Java it is very easy for you to migrate into you know Python uh, because the syntax is very easy and for any coding language what you need to understand is syntax because logics are almost similar and you just need to know how to write that logic and for Python it is simply kind of simply writing in the English so that's why it's very easy and uh, if you want to start from the scratch I mean if you if you, if you don't have any idea of Python till now uh, don't worry I mean within one month or two months you will be able to uh, be in a, in a position where you can do uh, very I mean you can write very well uh, code in Python like personally I can tell you that you know when I was joining IISC I didn't have any idea about Python even I have not written a single a single line of code before joining IISC uh, in Python and I only I have is like I have Anaconda installed in my in my system Anaconda is the software that you have to install for the Python so after joining IISC you know by solving different assignments even to different uh, courses I kind of masters uh, master myself in in Python so I that's why I'm saying it's, it's, it's very easy uh, to do well in Python and you just have to start from any of the resources that is available so what I will suggest is what are the whatever the online resources available like different websites different YouTube videos tutorials just start from it and keep solving no, the easier easier problem and then medium problem and then to the harder problem and within one to two months you'll be able to do very well coding in python so that is the first thing that you have to understand you know you have to understand and learn python that is the first thing second thing is that for machine learning coding specifically you need to understand two uh, library that is available one is uh, tensorflow and another one is pytorch so any one of them you have to understand to do you know uh, math, uh, machine learning model coding and uh, there are there are two trains especially if you if you want to do do 
uh, coding in the academia like when you are doing your mtech from nit or iits or if you are doing your phd then you should follow pytorch because in academia mostly pytorch is being followed and in the industry suppose you are you are joining any of the company the data science position then i i will suggest you that you should practice tensorflow because in the industry mostly tensorflow is being followed and in the academia generally uh, pytorch is being followed now these two uh, framework or library whatever you say they are a bit tricky they are not that easy uh, like uh, like um, simple python so you need to understand them properly so that you know you can write, write simple uh, machine learning models using those framework and that you know you can learn whenever you will be taking a uh, machine learning course like I have learned PyTorch specifically I used to follow PyTorch because I used to work in academia so that's why I used to follow PyTorch so I have learned PyTorch while uh, you know doing my courses in deep learning machine learning and those and they are in, in that particular course there are a lot of assignments they used to give and while solving the assignments I parallelly learn PyTorch and uh, I parallel learn PyTorch and try, used to solve the model so that's why these two framework you need to understand any one of them of your choice and that is very crucial because uh, building mathematical model is not simple uh, so using this frameworks uh, it will be easy easier for you uh, to build uh, those those mathematical model so those are the two things that is very crucial that you need to understand now coming to the fact that what are the systems that will be uh, that will be needed to do machine learning coding uh, so first of all coming to the uh, question that what 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 uh, uh, laptop configuration that you need so i personally will suggest you that you can you can buy any system uh, but the RAM should be 8 GB minimum uh, because you know the installing Anaconda it takes uh, a bit of uh, uh, memory space so that's why 8 GB RAM any system that will be sufficient for you if you want to write a code in your system and run it uh, to the system and any basic configuration I mean Intel i5 or i7 whatever you want to buy that is that is sufficient because the fact is that if the model is too big and if you have a lot of data it's not possible for you to run that code in in your local system then you need the support of gpus and the gpu server you need to get some access suppose uh, suppose you are you are doing an mtech from any iit and isc then uh, your department will give you the uh, gpu server access so every department used to have their own gpu server and you will get account there and you will, you will run the model there so that's why if your, mo if your model is big then it's not possible for you to run it in your local system that's why i'm saying that uh, if you have 8 gb ram the simple model you can run in your in your own system and and that will be sufficient for you and whenever you will be moving towards a deeper model or larger model and if you have a lot of data then you know you have to move to the gpu server now coming to the gpu server one thing is that you will be having a gpu server from your department whenever whenever you will be doing your mtech from or phd from any of the uh, reputed institution and one more thing is there you can have the um, support from google colab so google colab is a system where uh, you, you can run your uh, machine learning model but they are also there is some limitation i think they used to provide around uh, 12 gb ram so there also you can run the simpler model that is uh, that is possible so google collab you can have a free account so if you have a gmail gmail account then you you, just, you can just type in the uh, google that google collab and you can go to that go to that uh, interface and there you can write everything i mean you can you can just import different libraries and write the machine learning code and you will be able to able to run it so it's a notebook kind of environment where you can write, write your models and run it uh, one by one but yeah i mean there also there is a limitation that you can run up to you know kind of 12 gb memory is there so that's why you can't run a very big model into google collab uh, for that you need google collab pro but yeah that is expensive i mean you have to pay some amount of money to google and then only you will have the uh, have a system where you know you will have more ram and more computational power also so yeah these are the different resources that is available so first of all you can you can run in your own system but that won't be gpu that will be cpu second one is google collab where you can run up to 12 gb ram is there so you can run a sufficiently large amount of model and finally you, if you have access to any gpu server in your department then you can run larger model uh, as you wish so yeah these are the different resources that you can use for machine learning coding yeah that's it about this second part of you know kind of roadmap for ai machine learning where i have discussed about you know the coding skill that will be needed and what are the computational resources that you can use for ai and machine learning coding 
i hope you like this video and if you like this video please share this video to many other people so that you know they also get to know about and these things and you if you are new to this particular channel please do visit my channel i used to make videos regarding gate phd mtech isc related to these things and if you are interested in these topics yeah, you can you can subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye